Hello everyone, my name is Gastron Jofang, a consultant here at the release team. And today we're going to talk about the GitLab access token, more specifically a personal access token, a project and a group access token. Let's get started. So a token is a way to authenticate to a platform in order to access protected resources. So let's say you want to list out your repository through the GitLab API, or you want to pull or push your repository, or even get the package from the GitLab registry, you will need an access token to do so. So how does it work? Basically, you have to generate a token from your platform, give it some permission, depending on what you are trying to achieve, and then use that token with any requests you want to make to your platform. There are many types of access token, but today we are only focusing on the personal access token, the project, and the group access token where we eventually discuss all the token in the future videos. Let's start with the personal access token. A personal access token is attached to the user account. It has the largest scope. In order to create a personal access token, you go to the user profile, you go to access token, and then you create add new token, you give it a name, an expiration date, and you select the scope of your token. And then you click create personal access token. Note that a single personal access token can touch multiple areas at the same time. It can reach all your project, it can reach all your groups, and even your GitLab detail. For security reasons, it is recommended to be specific with your scope, or even use a more specific type of token, for example, the group or the project access token. A group access token is specific to groups. If you want to target one or multiple group in your instance, it is advised to use a group access token. In order to create one, you go to your group. Here we have a demo group. You hover over the setting and you click on access token. Once there, you should be able to see create access token. We are not able to see it here because we are on trial for the ultimate plan. If an account is still on trial, you will not be able to create a group access token. You will be able to create a personal access token or the project access token, but not the group access token. So now let's talk about the project access token. It will be generated at the project level. Here we have the project Dorito in the demo group. In order to create a token, we hover over the settings and we click access token. We we'll click add new token. We give a name, an expiration date, and you select the role. When you generate a project access token, GitLab create a boot user in the background. The project access token will be assigned to that user and any request you make with that project access token will be done by the boot user. You will also have to select the scope of your token and then you click create project access token. That's all about token. In general, we recommend having a strategy in place to rotate your token. You may also consider revoking any token that is not being used. 